morning there welcome back to art of awakening this is ona christie and coming to you uh, from the shores of lake superior and uh just with an energy update for this week of march 1st 2020 we're going to do a little bit of a reading and i'll give you a sneak peek into what's happening in the studio I've got a couple of paintings in the works so um let's just get started so before i take you back in into the reading i just want to um just update you a little bit on what I've been kind of asked to relay this week. Um, it's, as you can tell, it's a really beautiful, bright, sunny, uh, very, very early spring, late winter day here in Marquette. Um, and I love this time of year because it's like there's so much happening kind of under the snow, so much sort of in the works, but you're not seeing a lot of motion yet. And that's where I'm feeling like we're at here um, in, in 2020. We're, we're about to hit this, you know, the full swing of 2020 when we hit the equinox but we're not really seeing a lot of it yet and this time of this the springtime can be really the springtime can be really sort of um, volatile especially in, in in our climate here um, I'm gonna show you real quick here this uh, this ice is pretty cool so things are starting to break up and stuff and we're getting uh, a little bit warmer but as you know in the springtime often it will be beautiful weather and then it'll be stormy again or you know we might get really warm weather for a little bit and then it'll get like super cold so kind of what I'm getting is like we're heading into this 2020 we've we've really had this kind of emergence into a little bit more of bringing more of the 5D, 5D into the world for the collective and a, a lot of people awakening, a lot of people bringing that awakened energy into the planet, but it does not mean that we're necessarily going to see, you know, warm, balmy, you know, spiritual weather for a while. It may be relatively volatile just like springtime we may you know and this may happen individually as well as collectively we may feel periods of elation or like things are going going really sunny and well and then there it may be broken up by periods that seem difficult uh you know just like the the winter coming back for a while and uh so what i i just want to relay a few words of encouragement that you know when those stormy times occur to just keep the big picture in that things really are moving and advancing and getting to be you know bit by bit as more and more people awaken things are really are healing there's healing happening on the planet and keep that faith because it's it's what what happens is it's like it's really easy to start fixating on things like the coronavirus and you know scary stuff and and that's that's what what the dark wants to do is like get us all riled up okay so here's here's the encouragement um what keeps coming to me is um coming to stillness and the, the power of coming to stillness because when we are operating from a, that still place within us then that really lets us tune into the real voice the real you know higher voice that's telling you what to do and and telling you right right and so when when we get all these things that are uh, scary or whatever um it's it's so easy to get led astray right so one of the easiest ways and one of the, the quickest ways actually to deal with things when things seem cloudy or whatever is just to remember to just come and come into that stillness because that lets you recalibrate okay so for instance if you're trying to i'm just going to take a one day an example if you're trying to lose weight rather than um you know reacting to every hunger pang right um why not come to stillness first and then ascertain is this really hunger, right? Uh, like, especially if you're feeling it, like right after you eat a full meal, you know what that feels like. You can just kind of feel compelled to eat more. Coming to stillness lets you really feel into, okay, what's really happening? And then choose what path, okay? This isn't really hunger. What can I do? It's really anxiety, it's not hunger. And what can I do to alleviate the anxiety? Maybe it's go for a run, maybe it's do a breathing exercise maybe it's 
you know, journal, maybe it's color friend, whatever it is, right? And rather than just reacting. All right, so that said, um, let's hit the studio. I'll pull a few cards, show you the latest thing on the easel. And before I do, thank you so much for watching and always appreciate your likes and your subscribes. Okay, so welcome back to the studio for this week's reading. We're looking at uh, a waxing moon and heading towards a full moon in Virgo on the 9th. And uh, Virgo's a lovely sign. I really like it. It's an earth sign. So um, let's look at, hopefully looking at intentionally thinking about some of the really positive qualities of Virgo, which is like, Virgos tend to be really hardworking, loyal, um, really good at getting stuff done on the converse side it can be a little bit of like control freak right so as we move into there kind of feeling into taking advantage of that earthiness of virgo as we're moving into a, a real period of change with the solstice as well towards that um so i think uh, an earth sign at this or it's not excuse me not the solstice the equinox um earth sign at the equinox feels to me really good right now um as long as we're not like caught up in that kind of control I, uh, aspect of it. Um, all right, so I'm using my Spirit Animal Awareness cards. If you've been looking at uh, purchasing one of these decks, I'm, I'm out of stock right now, and I'm looking act actually because my printer is way behind. I'm looking into working with another printer, so just hold tight. Um, and what I'm doing this week, the first card is Hawk. I'm gonna try a little bit different approach with the reading. We're gonna start with the, the first card representing current kind of what's going on this current situation and then we're going to move to a um, an action card being the second one um, and then an encouragement card being the third so it's funny how uh, hawk keeps coming up lately just and <laughs> i'm not sure i was planning to release a hawk video this past week uh it's not gonna happen or it didn't happen last week but it will be happening this week um, hawk is really this animal that just keeps coming up lately in the last couple weeks um, and it's really what I'm seeing is seeing with hawk is this idea of focused vision and really focusing so we're really being called right now on a collective level and I think for a lot of a lot of us as individuals to step a little bit more really focus in on our purpose on our life path and zeroing in, narrowing down into what what are we actually here for? Okay, so this energy right now is really supportive of that, moving into your purpose. And the thing about that is that where I was talking about the stormy periods, right? Just looking at the stormy periods as, you know, that's if it if you start getting into a stormy period or whatever in your life, sometimes that's an indication of where just to look for where am I a little bit off? Where am I out of alignment? Okay, because those little stormy things or the trickster or the obstacles that come up, they are just kind of pointing to us. And that's where this idea of coming to stillness because sometimes only when we get still enough to hear the inner voice is, is, is when we're actually gonna be given that guidance as to where to move forward. Um, so action card for okay suggested action dog this is a really good one i think for this virgo uh, full moon period that we're going in um loyalty uh, and laughter right okay because sometimes when things get a little bit hairy um it's like we tend to get like really zeroed in and really more fixated and really more constricted okay so think of a dog right and how I'm getting back to that old joke of, um, you know, you put your spouse and the dog in the trunk of the car and wait for an hour and then open it up, see which one's glad to see you. Right? <laughs> so think of the expansiveness of a dog, even if it's just uh, uh, going through hard times or whatever, they've got that buoyancy, that vibrant zest for life. So let's see where you can tap into that, looking on the positive side. They're all, their dogs are such optimists. So bring in the optimism this week. Um, would be the encouragement and as I draw this third card I want to just really thank everybody lately who has um, purchased art for me or I, I've got a 
uh, client I'll be uh, doing an energy scan reading for who's uh, looking at a, an angel painting. I'm so excited about that. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, uh, reach out to me. Um, and just thinking I've got a new client just signed up for um, a six month package with me and I'm so excited about working with her too. So, um, so thank you if, if you have purchased um, or are thinking about it. Uh, you know, if you're thinking about it, just reach out to me because I'd love to talk to you. All right, so here is the encouragement card, Raven. And with this one, um, kind of the word magic is coming forward. And I, I think that this is a magical time and you, we are all, we've got that magic within us, okay? And so sometimes it's like, just acknowledge the magic within you. Because it's so easy to focus in on the hardships and focus in on, you know, this is what I got to do. I got to get this done. I got to get this done. I got to get this done. But you have that magical quality to you. We all do. Okay, we can all tap into our inner, inner magic. And because life really is meant to be magical. Okay, so if you're losing sight of the magic... It's, it's always within you, it's always there, and you can always tap back into that, okay? So you really do, <laughs> we do have that with us. And all magic is, is, you know, what we don't understand, right? Um, if, if you think about, like, science is really starting to catch up with, with metaphysics. <laughs> and somebody shot me a, a, a link the other day to this um, article about scientists discovering that all time happens at once and it was kind of cool so just imagine that even in the mundane world there's magic infused within there and we can find that all right so um, that's it for the card reading I hope that is helpful and let's take a look at what's new in the studio so the first thing I just want to share this is a, a piece in progress I think I shared this last week and it's coming along it's coming um, just developing just a little bit it's uh, a Pisces one and uh, somebody has already um, purchased this one so even though I'm not done yet but um, piece in progress already sold I am thinking I probably will create a print for this one have that available at some point when it's done um, and then I want to show you my B angel okay so just a sec here another piece in progress and I'm just showing you uh, my studio and all the mess the creative process is a messy progress sometimes process sometimes and so yeah so sometimes we have to forgive ourselves it's the mess but um, this is an angel of bees and I will tell you the story of her sometime soon but uh, she's just kind of getting getting started here it came out of a, a journal um, channeled journal entry from last year so she's really wanting to come forward as I work on the bee deck that and I've got another bee painting uh, for the deck coming up too so okay so that's it for this week's video thanks so much again for joining me and we'll catch you again soon